Hello, this is Julian. You are on Eat the Blocks, and in this video, I'm going to show you what are modifier keywords in Solidity function. By the way, I created a free email course to teach you how I got my first remote blockchain job paid $100,000 a year. So if you want to learn all my secrets, you just have to sign up at this URL. So in the previous video, I show you how we can interact with a smart contract. And we use this example smart contract with two functions, get value and set value. And I told you that in one of these functions, we use the view keyword, but in the other one, we don't. So how comes and what is this view keyword? So first look on your left. So if we deploy this contract, so I'm going to expand the deployed instance. And we see that these two functions are represented by two different buttons, an orange one and a blue one. Get value is blue because this is read only and set value is orange because we can actually modify data on the blockchain. So how comes Remix is able to tell which function has which capability? Well, it's all because of this view keyword here in get value. So if you put a view keyword in a function, it means this is a read only function. It's not going to modify the blockchain. So if you put a view keyword inside a function signature inside the function body, if you try to modify a value of your smart contract, for example, value equal to then you see that solidity is going to complain function declare as view but this expression potentially modify the state so solidity is not happy you can't do this in old version of solidity instead of the view keyword we used to have the constant keyword so if you see this keyword it means that you are dealing with an old version of solidity but in newer version, it's been deprecated. And here you can see that Solidity does not like this constant keyword. So you need to replace it by the view keyword. There is another keyword that is quite similar to view and that is called pure. So with the pure keyword, this is also a read only function, but instead of returning a value from the blockchain, it will just do some computation. So for example, here, if we were to do one plus one, and then let me comment out the other line, then Solidity would be happy. So in this case, one plus one is not very useful, but you can imagine more complex scenario where you compute a hash, for example. And in the other function set value, we don't have any view of pure keyword. So if we omit these two keywords totally, then Remix is going to know that in this function, you can modify the blockchain. There are actually two different APIs to interact with a smart contract. One is called if underscore send transaction and the other one is called if underscore call. So when Solidity see that a function is pure of view, it's going to use if underscore call. And when it doesn't have any of these keyword, then it's going to use if underscore send transaction. If you want to know more about these two APIs, you can find more details at this address. In the next video, I'm going to tell you about function visibility, which is going to explain you what is this external keyword.